the pain, the suffering, the emotional heartache, the turmoil, all these feelings that you're feeling right now, I understand, right? I've been there myself, and that's why I'm in a position to make a video like this, right? The pain and suffering that you're going through, let me tell you, this is an absolute excellent opportunity for you to rebuild yourself and move closer to your future self. Imagine, you know, life without any tough times as a man. You know, you'd remain stuck. You'd always be running away from your problems, relying on vices and never growing into the man you need to be, right? Let's face it. When it comes to adversity, there's two options, right? Two ways of handling it. You can either fix the problem, face it head on, or you can run away from the problem, right? And when you run away from the, the problem, I'll tell you what's going to happen, bro. You're going to end up going through a negative, destructive cycle, right? Because you're just going to prolong your suffering. Every time you band-aid an issue, you know, running to vices, you're avoiding your issues, right? These issues are going to come back in your life, right? Whether you like it or not, as a man, you're going to be faced with the same circumstance again, right? If you keep destroying yourself with vices, drugs, alcohol, all these things, right, that's going to, you know, harm you, you're just going to end up forming like a cycle of destruction. So every time it's an opportunity of growth, you run to your vice and that then stops you from, you know, growing into the man you need to be, right? This use, Not using the opportunity in the right direction. You start becoming, you know, dependent on un unhealthy coping mechanisms, the drug, the alcohol, all these things, the partying, right? And then it'll get to a point where it's going to affect your mental health as a man, right? It'll get to a, a point where you'll be in such a low that you'll be in breaking point, right? And that's where I was forced to make the change, bro, right? I was in a circumstance where I pretty much, you know, was hit with multitudes of adversity, bro. Not just one thing, right? I didn't just go through just a breakup and it was like, I had to change now, right? I was faced with addictions, with drugs. I was faced with, you know, a girl leaving me. I was faced with a loss of job at the time, so I got fired. Um, I lost my connection with my family, right? I lost my connection with my friends. I didn't have any, you know, good role models in my life. So I was literally, and I was also, sorry, forget, I forgot to mention this. I was also, you know, facing a potential jail sentence, a prison sentence, bro, for, for something stupid I did, right? and you know a reckless assault charge that i was faced with so i was faced with a multitude of challenges that were coming my way bro right i was faced with a lot of issues all at once bro all at once this all happened at the same time and it got to a point where i was like absolutely in at breaking point bro i was in fucking tears bro i was literally crying and i was so disgusted with what i saw in the mirror bro i was absolutely disgusted at how my life got to this stage right and just operating consistently through low frequency my mental health was impacted i had no one to talk, talk to right and I seek help from God, the universe, right? And the right thing to do at that time, or the only thing I had to do, or that the only thing I could do at that time was either end everything, right? Just leave this earth, or I could face my challenges, my problems, my demons all at once, bro, and give it everything within my power to shift into the person I needed to be, right? So I used all those challenging situations that I was faced with as the perfect opportunity to grow into the man you see today, bro, making this video, okay? And I am so grateful that I was faced with all those problems that came all at once because it shifted me into 
a person who's got a strong mindset, bro. So let's say anything unforeseen was meant to happen. Anything that came my way right now, a challenging situation, right? I can deal with it, bro. I can deal with it. I use every challenging situation as a lesson to be learnt, bro, as a test to become stronger, to prepare myself, right? To level myself up even more, you know, through my, my daily positive habits, right? Because adversity, I know, is always going to come my way. It's always going to come your way, right? But more or less, it's going to allow you to be that man that you've always needed, right? Because it's by going through your daily habits, regardless, right? Non-negotiable daily habits, showing up for yourself. It allows you to stay in tr on track, right? And feel better because you know in your heart, right? When you went through that tough time, or I know myself, when I went through that tough time, the only thing that got me through was my daily habits, bro, the daily process that changed me into the man you see today, right? And it's the only thing I know, bro, to make me feel better. It's the only thing I know when I'm faced with a tough, challenging situation. I know that I've been there before, bro. So anything that comes my way, no problem, man. I can handle it right through my daily habits, my non-negotiable daily habits. And that's why I say I'm grateful for those tough, challenging circumstances that I went through, bro. And that's why I say to you, it's a blessing in disguise because, you know, I was someone that ran away from problems, bro. I ran the fuck away from problems, bro, right? And it got me nowhere, right? And when I actually decided to face the adversity head on, I started to fall in love with that future person, bro, I was like, wow, I've gone from someone that runs away from problems to actually, you know, handling problems, you know, solving problems. And there's so much growth, bro. There's so much potential that's hidden and it's on the other side of, you know, going through the adversity, facing it head on, right? Once you face it on the other side, is another version of you, bro. And I'm telling you, when you unlock that person, when you find that person on the other side, <clears throat> when you use your times of adversity as an opportunity of growth, right? Using it as a lesson to be learned. And you come out on the other side, bro, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about, bro. There is another version of you out there that is an absolute savage, bro, right? And this is how you can go through life easier than the average person who avoids adversity, right? Because when you keep running away from problems, you're only going to just create more negativity in your life, right? When you handle the problems, every time you're faced with a problem, you're like, you know what? I've already dealt with that before. This is nothing. Oh, I've already dealt with that before. This is nothing, right? You can just kind of fucking walk your way through these problems. No problem, bro. Like it becomes easy, right? And The main message here, bro, that I'm trying to share is this, right? You use adversity as a tool for growth, right? It allows you to build resilience, you know, through your daily habits, right? Which helps you, you know, push yourself in a forward direction. When you build that mental toughness, right? Build up that emotional resilience, you know, it helps you face future challenges with confidence, right? These tough times, they force you to push past, you know, those barriers and it reveals who you are as a man, bro. It will reveal the strength that you had inside, that you have inside. You don't know that you have it yet because you haven't, you know, faced the adversity head on. But I'm telling you, bro, it's going to truly reveal who you are as a character, as a man. And that's when life becomes easier as a man, right? Because let's face it, life as a man is definitely challenging. It's more challenging than a woman. I don't give a fuck what anyone says, right? We as men, we have a lot of responsibility and I wish I had someone like a role model. I wish I had someone to help me during those dark times, bro, but it's okay, 
right? It's okay. I figured this all out by myself. And then one thing kept leading to another in a positive direction. And the main thing is I reconstructed myself into the man I needed to become, right? To make this video, to create this YouTube channel, to you know, speak from my heart and help brothers out that are going through tough times because I never had that. And one thing, bro, that comes deeply from my heart is to help others, you know, that are faced with the same problems that I was faced with, right? Because unfortunately, in this world, some people are just not strong enough, bro, to make it on the other side, right? And if this video that I make can help inspire someone to be like, you know what, he went through exactly what I went through, or he went through, you know, something similar, like a similar circumstance, then I can do it too, bro. And that's what I'm saying. So I want to, you know, help men. This all comes passionately from my heart because I've been through the suffering myself, bro. Not just a breakup, okay? I had everything hit me all at once. And it's good. It's beautiful. I thank the universe for giving me all these fucking problems. I thank the universe for sending all these challenging dark times towards me because it allows me to be that role model for you, bro. And as a brotherhood, we lift each other up, bro, and we, we help each other through the dark times, right? And that's what it's all about. But this opportunity, right? This opportunity, bro, I'm telling you, this blessing in disguise that you don't know is a blessing in disguise because you are, you know, faced with the adversity right now. You're going to turn into an absolute savage, bro. You're going to turn into an absolute savage. Just understand that whatever you're going through right now, see the positive in what you're going through, bro, right? whatever it may be, even if it's self-inflicted, see the positive, right? Use the, the lessons to learn. And as you become that savage, there's going to be someone else in your life, you know, maybe your, your future family, your future kids, right? Someone closest to you that's going to need your help, right? They're going to go through exactly the same thing, right? There's going to be another person, another man that's going to be faced with adversity, right? He might not be fortunate like you, to change his life around. He might be in a very, very weak point, right? But you can pick him up, bro. And that's what I'm saying. When you fix yourself, you truly get to help others, bro, right? And that's why I say, bro, when I look back at all the problems, as much as they hurt, as much as I was in tears at the time when everything hit me like a ton of bricks, I'm so fucking grateful for those moments, bro. Like it is coming out on the other side Okay, and being that man that you always wanted to be, right? It just feels so good, bro. There's no other feeling, right? That's what I'm saying. Adversity reveals a man to himself. And be grateful for all the tough times that you're faced with, bro, right? Look at the positives in every dark situation. Be grateful and work at creating the man you need to become through your daily process, right? Your daily habits. And you might ask me, bro, what would be, you know, what's some daily habits that helped you? This is what exactly helped me, bro. Doing exactly what I didn't do before, right? And let me explain. I used to, you know, wake up whenever I wanted. I never used to read books. I didn't eat good healthy foods, right? I would eat a lot of junk food. And I would always be, you know, scrolling on my phone, looking for the next best thing and not being present. I wouldn't, you know, meditate. I wouldn't look after my mind, okay? I wasn't present. So all these things, bro, I started to, to do when I was at that, when I was going through that pivotal turning point, right? So I was doing all the things that I didn't do before. So I started to fall in love with the process, bro. I was like, you know what? Wow, I actually love this whole journey, bro. Like waking up early, right? When I never used to do that. So I woke up early. When I say early, you know, between 4 to 5 p.m. I would wake up. Sorry, 4 to 5 a.m. I would wake up. 
I would do my reading, my reflecting. I would do my meditating. And then I would do some, some form of exercise, right? Whether that would be, you know, cardio, whether that would be, you know, lifting weights. But either way, I did everything to allow me to start my day with a positive mental attitude, right? And I kept doing those same things, bro. And I would, you know, journal, I would write down, you know, my goals, I would envision who I needed to become. And then I would just work at it, right? Through my daily process. I wouldn't just wish and hope to become a person. I would put in the work necessary to become that ideal version that I wanted to be, right? Through my daily habits, through the process. And as I started reading, bro, as I started learning, as I started to, you know, do so many things that I had neglected for so many years from being, you know, complacent and avoiding hard and difficult times, I fell in love with this new person. I was like, fuck, if I can do this, what else can I do? And I started just fall in love with the process, bro. I became so obsessed with just learning new things, reading new things, strengthening my mindset, you know, feeling these good, happy feelings, bro, from putting in work, you know, helping other people closest around me that needed the help. And that's what I'm saying, bro. This, those tough times revealed, revealed, you know, who I was capable of becoming, you're right, through my daily actions. You can't just sit there and hope and wish for, you know, good things to happen, bro. It all starts with your daily habits, the process, right? That's what transforms you into the man you need to become because that process those habits that you build up no one can take that away from you bro right it becomes engraved in you and you can start killing it in all endeavors in your life bro okay all different endeavors so that's what i recommend bro okay turn into an absolute savage through your daily habits do all the things that you weren't doing before or that you're not currently doing now to better yourself because you know what you're doing you know right now what your weaknesses are as a man right i'm not going to get into it but you know what you're lacking you know what you're avoiding right you know all the wrong things that you're doing to your life you're not an idiot we know right exactly you know exactly what's preventing you from becoming that person that's where you turn into a savage, bro, where you start just working at all the weaknesses through your daily habits and you just stick to them, bro, right? You just stick to them each and every day and it'll get to a point where you've built yourself into the man you needed to be and you keep working at it, bro. And this becomes a lifelong commitment because you fall in love with that process of who you've become and who you're becoming, right? Because it's a a process that doesn't end you're you'll be in a position where you get to be a role model for someone else and you get to help someone else bro and that's the truly that's truly the best feeling in the world to help and inspire others bro okay when it comes through when it, it and it will come directly from your heart bro because you've been there you've overcome the, the challenging times right you're no longer selfish with your desires and you're no lo no longer you know depending on those unhealthy coping coping mechanisms anymore that you will be able to help those closest around you bro right so look man this is pretty much today's video if you're new to my channel you like my content please hit the subscribe button really helps my channel keeps helping me make more content if there's you know any sort of content that you feel that would help you on your journey right drop it in the comments below i'd love to hear it but other than that hope you have a blessed and beautiful day and i'll see you in the next video let's get it peace